What's up guys and welcome back to another Roblox video. In this video, what I'm going to show you is going to help you get better performance, get better FPS in Roblox. It's going to stop you lagging and it's going to be awesome. Now, before this video begins, I want to go over a few questions you guys probably have. Number one, is this a virus? Is it malware? Is it going to harm your PC? The answer is no. This was made by an official dev at Roblox and it's virus free. You don't have to worry about that at all. Second question, this is a big question. Will you get banned from Roblox for using this? Answer is no and here's proof. Just adding on to that. Uh, I got this question offline too. If anyone is using the unofficial frame rate unlocker, I'm going to make a personal guarantee you will not be banned from Roblox. It's okay. <laughs> Alright, so that was the Roblox dev saying that it's okay to use, you won't be banned. That was at RDC 2019, which happened yesterday, so you guys are okay for using this. Alright, so before I go in on how to install this and get this program, let's go over what FPS is. What is frame rate? So basically, FPS stands for frames per second. It's how many frames you get, well, per second. So most monitors go up to about 60. A lot of the newer ones go beyond 60. Mine goes up to 165. Most TVs go up to like 144 to 240 these days. And well, obviously, Roblox is an older game back when you know monitors and tvs they only went up to 60 and so roblox has a, a setting called v-sync which limits your frame rate to 60 and you can actually see that up there you can see my fps is locked at 60 no matter what i do it's not going to move now here's the problem if you have a, a tv or a monitor with a higher fps limit or, or it's called refresh rate than 60 then you're going to get lag mine is 165 like i said and it's capped at 60 which is less than half of the max from performance of my monitor which means you know it, it's not going to perform that great i need to i need to raise that up no maybe you fall on the other side of that maybe your monitor only goes up to 60 or, or maybe you you don't have a great pc and your game is sticking around 20 to 30 fps maybe you're lagging a little bit it's a little stuttery it, just, it doesn't even go up to 60. well even if that's the case this is going to help you because vsync the setting that roblox uses to limit your frame rate actually hurts your performance from my experience it hurts it's at about 20 to 30 percent so if we can remove vsync which is what we're going to do in this video it will help your performance and if you have a monitor that's higher than 60 or a tv higher than 60 then you're going to really really get better performance with all that being said let's hop into this so basically what you want to do is go to this website right here i'll have a link to it in the description near the top i'll also have it pinned in the comment section at the very top of the comment section and basically once you're here you're going to want to click on the latest version it'll say the latest release right here this is the latest one it was updated three days ago so we're just going to go ahead and we're going to click on this now we're going to go ahead and we're going to download it now if you have a 64-bit computer you're going to download the 64-bit version if you have a 32-bit uh, computer you're going to download the 32-bit version also this is probably a really good time to point out that i'm going to be doing this on windows this is probably possible on mac even though i've never done it on mac but i'm sure it works on mac as well and maybe one of you guys in the comment section can let me know but this does work on windows and obviously not on phone or tablet or anything like like that so how do you tell what version uh system you have well it's very simple go to start type in system you'll see system information click on that and then right here you're going to see either x32 or x64 mine is x64 so what that means is i'm going to download the 64-bit version most computers are probably 64-bit so you're going to click that and then it's going to download you can't actually see it because my uh my head's in the way but you guys can see it down there there it is it's downloaded so once you download it it's going to show up in your downloads folder and here it is right here your icon may look a little bit different but this is the program fps unlocker so now what we're going to do we're going to right click we're going to copy it or if you just want to move it to your desktop you can do that too so here's my desktop i'm just going to go ahead and drag it on over there it, whatever works for you guys all right so now what we're going to do we're going to go ahead and we're going to make a folder for this so we're going to go ahead and right click we're going to go new we're going to make a folder now you can rename this whatever you want i'm just going to call it pp center okay we're going to call it the pp center works for me then we're just going to drag this on into there and open up the folder and here it is now what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and extract this now if you don't have a program called winrar you can do this with default there should be an extract option somewhere here on windows uh, i have winrar so i'm just going to go ahead and use that i'm going to click extract here but go ahead and extract it if you have windows maybe you don't have winrar you can do this anyway and then once you extract it here it is right here roblox fps on locker now all we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and start up roblox all right so roblox is starting up and we're just going to let the game load on up 
here. And technically, you can launch this before you launch Roblox. I just want to launch it while Roblox is running so you guys can see the FPS up there. So I'm going to go ahead and we are going to launch this thing. I'm going to double click it. It's going to start up and you guys will see the FPS up there go up. And there it is. My FPS is now 170, which is literally 110 more than it was before I used the program. Obviously, if I go outside, it dips down a little bit. If I go back inside, it goes up. But as you can see, my frame rate has literally more than doubled by using this program here. Also, whenever the program is running, if you want to customize it, you can actually go down here and click this little show hidden uh, scenes here and then right click the little uh, little box here for it. And then once you do that, you can, you know, adjust it. So if you want the FPS cap to be 75, 120, 144, 240, or just no FPS cap, which is what I have it, you guys can do that. Now, before you guys go, I am going to show you guys one more thing. I'm going to show you guys how you can make this run whenever your computer starts up. So that way you don't have to click it open every single time you start Roblox. So to get this to start up whenever your computer starts up and Windows boots up, all you got to do, right click this and click create shortcut. That's going to make a shortcut and here it is. Now that we have the shortcut file, we're going to click on start. We're going to type in run and we're going to open up run. And basically with run, you're going to type this in. This works on Windows 10. There's different ways to do it. If you're on Windows 7 or Windows 8, you might have to Google that. But what we're doing is looking for the start up folder. So you're going to go ahead and type in shell colon startup and click OK. And that's going to open up this little startup folder for Windows. And anything that's in here is going to start up whenever Windows starts up. So as you can see, I already have one in here for me. But all you got to do is click and drag it right on in there. I already have it. So I'm just going to go ahead and replace it. And boom, just like that, whenever your computer starts up, this program will automatically start up and you don't have to worry about it ever again. Roblox will just from now on have unlimited FPS, which is awesome. You guys can see I'm getting 230 FPS there for a second, which was awesome. And uh, yeah, that's pretty much it, guys. Uh, that's how you increase your frame rate on Roblox, increase your FPS, remove the cap. Like I said, you won't get banned for this. It's not malware. It's not a virus. So don't worry about that. And yeah, that's about it. Let me know if this helped you out down in the comment section below. And if you guys have any other uh, you know, tips or suggestions on how to increase performance, let us all know down in the comment section below. And as always, if you guys enjoyed this video, if this video helped you guys out, if it if it may just stop lagging or gave you a little bit of FPS, do go ahead and show some support. Hit that subscribe button. It's the red button right underneath the video. Make sure that notification bell is checked too with all notifications on. And as always, like I say, every video, use that star code Real Creek whenever you buy Robux or Builders Club. And that way I can have more Robux to give out to you guys and uh, everybody's happy. Also, if you use my star code, I'll follow you on Roblox. Just tweet me proof or send me proof of that and I'll follow you guys on Roblox. But yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. Let me know if this helped you guys out and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye!